Okay. Donc, on va C'est go ahead. Ok. Donc, on va continuer fin de la last time. Um, on uh, the start of memory management. So, last time, last time, on a dit, in a nutshell, um, uh, we have had the CPU virtualization. And, uh, yeah, on a dit, CPU parts only. Uh, including context switching and, and uh, techniques, the mechanisms and policies lead the operating system alongside the CPU with the help of the, the, the capabilities of the CPU key, key, key provide a layer of abstraction uh, to every process to be able to run uh, in a somewhat simultaneous way. So um, uh, now we're going to see if uh, the, the same can, I mean, or the same happens in memory. Uh, the same abstraction, not the same way, but the, the, a similar abstraction happens to memory. Uh, we're going to try to explore if uh, memory is uh, abstracted for every process, uh, at what level it is uh, managed, what are also the, the the ways the the operating system and handles memory efficiently between between processes. So uh, I don't think I don't think I have to um, uh, go back and uh, uh, iterate again a lot, a lot the definition of a process because we used uh, we used it very much uh, last time uh, throughout the explanation here. Yeah. Also, uh, um, given the definition of the process, uh, we can see the uh, memory. Uh, in a very abstract way, can look like this. So um, um, let's say memory here will have very big free space, the uh, yeah, memory uh, locations that should be ideally shared um, um, across running processes. Kimesh uh, Fnabli, we talked about context switching. In the context, the uh, multiple processes should be running uh, somewhat simultaneously. And the, the multiple processes running simultaneously means really that the processes will be sharing the memory at the same time. So um, uh, if, for example, I'm not three processes that are running, the, the memory, uh, if in a very simple way, looks like this. So maybe uh, process A, B, C shed in some space, and there is a free, some free space, and then operating system tells it shed some, some, some uh, memory locations. So, um, uh, one challenge Lee can look from Hadi in a very simple, now that we're talking very, very um, broadly at Hadi, is uh, um, one uh, related to protection. So uh, we don't want process A metal to access memory locations that are the uh, process B metal or process C. Usually we don't want that. Uh, more importantly, we don't want the process to access the uh, the code the uh, the, uh, the memory locations the operating system. So um, uh, one one thing that we should talk about is uh, how to provide this uh, protection um, uh, on a um, um, on a process level. Keep a process. Keep it. We can control what a process can can access in terms of memory locations. And uh, um, the, the, had, had, this is only one of the main challenges in the memory. One, another one is Metalan transparency, which uh, which uh, means the, uh, um, the the operating system uh, will, uh, the the process should not know but the other processes are also running and uh, using memory at the same time. So um, uh, transparency means the uh, the process should have a process should, should behave as if it's the only process running on the memory. And efficiency, of course, so, uh, the, one of the uh, challenges deal, uh, deal every uh, virtualization, every uh, management technique, the memory management mechanism, who, um, how to be efficient, how not to have a lot of overhead deal, uh, processing. So it makes the execution close to as if it was executing natively without any layer of abstraction. And the, the, the three uh, considerations when we're trying to um, think about a virtual memory management, well, any memory management um, 
اللي 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 وي وونت تو تو امبلمنت اني اني في هذا الانتروداكشن اني كويشنز اي ثينك جاست جو ايت صح اوكي So uh, the first abstraction I want to talk about is, uh, is uh, uh, what we call the address space. So uh, the address space uh, of a process is, we can call it the observable universe, the memory the, uh, process, or like the observable memory of a process. So in memory virtualization, there was this idea that another, the address space is the part of the memory that the uh, that the process sees or that the process can access. And uh, I mean, the basic, the basic parts will the, the main segments, the, the memory, the every process, home are the program code, the home instructions to be executed. The heap, uh, it holds the initialized variables who, um, um, I mean, uh, and can be, can be also extended Uh, on I mean on demand by the by the Hasabi code, and stack with the execution stack with the local variables, return arguments uh, uh, while the while the code is being executed. I mean uh, there are other classifications. So working without going into into details, uh, let us see it um, as uh, three main parts now. So um, I think uh, one example to see had three parts. Is uh, I mean a small example you can you can uh, you can code it uh, in C for example. Well, we can we can do. Uh, um, okay, so you can uh, you can uh, uh, I think you can uh, do a quick uh, experiment. The uh, I mean a small C program like initializing variables initially will I make I mean initializing constants and then uh, few initializations during the I mean, during the executions, using مثلاً malloc or uh, dynamic memory allocation functions, uh, and then the, you can print the addresses, and then you can see the, the heap addresses are somewhat contiguous. Mala they are they are in a very close memory locations. Whose stack is also in very close memory locations. So you can see the, uh, you can also see the mother that the stack is uh, allocated in the reverse order, or the heap is. Uh, uh, allocated in a normal order will increase in order of uh, addresses. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is a, a bit off topic. Well, can, uh, uh, we can uh, uh, just uh, just the representation deal process here. Yeah. We have the program code, we have the heap, uh, and we have the stack for uh, for um, execution. Um, so this is what the process is. Yeah. Uh, but uh, To, I mean, to make the process only see this, we have uh, a layer of uh, abstraction. Uh, I mean, this layer of abstraction is what we call a virtual address. So, what if we don't put a physical address? For, what if, what if the 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 only way that the process could refer to the memory here through virtual addresses? And had the idea is how, I mean, how to how to provide the illusion. The the, the 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 process is trying to access physical addresses. Well, can at the same time there is a layer of translation. Well, there is a translator in between had addresses that the process is trying to use uh, while executing. So give me a variable like you know, will I read data from uh, location one. To translate into give me data from the first location li as allocated to this to this address or to this process. So, how to provide that illusion? Where you can at the same time keep consistency for the process and also keep track of a small process is able to access or not able to access. And uh, this is what we trying to define as virtual memory. Here, how to give Kula process the address space the arrow. And while managing it, and also while providing protection for the process, ensuring that no other uh, process that is not allowed to 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 access it may access it. And uh, yeah.
And also the challenge is like, how can we do this for multiple processes? How can, how can we provide this, not only for one process, the execution, but for multiple processes, the context switching being from as we've seen in the last time. So one way to do this is through, uh, I mean, one technique in uh, address translation called uh, relocation. So, um, um, I mean, relocation is basically um, um, referring to a uh, logical address, a virtual address, and then translating it um, from logical address to the to where it exists in a physical address using the offset. And for example, let's say for every process, uh, for every process, let's say uh, we, we, we consider really memory address DL location zero starts from the offset DL uh, where it is uh, physically in memory. For example, process C 128 kilobytes. It's considered the little offset the process C 128 kilobytes. So when process C can go really, I believe you have metal and access the from location zero to location 100, or location in case 128, like 70 or less. We, we um, give it, I mean, from from offset X to offset Y, this is what the process can access. The process cannot see it. The process sees it. It's a uh, Min, min location zero to location, I mean, 70 or 60 or that depends on how the process is uh, allocated at, uh, at, uh, uh, when, when it's loaded into memory. And uh, with this, uh, we keep for every process we have relocation register, leaky translated the logical address that starts from zero into the physical address that's, uh, that's actually in memory. So it's it's a simple mapping, maybe in uh, the virtual memory, or this virtual address, it's, it starts at zero. Zero can contain other things. In this case, uh, maybe it contains uh, OS related uh, stuff. Magadish, uh, it, it will not be translated into zero physically. Well, can, it, there will be a layer of translation. And this uh, is called memory, uh, uh, the dynamic relocation or a base and bound relocation. So if you can see in a relocation register, okay, in limit register. Limit is the boundary that you can, you want to access something beyond the limit, there will be a trap, which is a, 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 system, a, a system exception, which will uh, which will uh, result in maybe the process being killed. Or, uh, as you can see, sometimes you get a segmentation fault if you're, uh, execution this is one of the cases it's when you're trying to ex when you're trying to access a memory location that you're not allowed to access um this is this is simple this is the the i mean the address or the dynamic relocation address uh, translation in a nutshell so um one of the challenges the had the had translation is that as you can see you know uh, there is a lot of free space, maybe in Metan and Hippo stack, because the stack grows, they reverse, and the heap grows in the normal order. In the little free space, and uh, a lot of programs don't use that free space. So uh, if we ask uh, uh, at another program code, in this case, 16 kilobytes, they may only use two or three kilobytes. So uh, had a method of uh, translation. Um, uh, by the way, the method of translation is usually assisted by the hardware that does the piece of hardware that does this relocation itself. Uh, so, um, Nizar, how is the free space decided? Um, I uh, wish that the case. Zama, how is uh, the free space leaving us one? Uh, so in this case, uh, the it's up to the it's up to the OS to as, uh, allocate the memory. I mean, in this head basic example of address translation, it's up to the OS to allocate memory for processes. If 
ولكن هذوك الانيشال فاليوز از مثلا اون ذا بيج يعني في البيجينين اوف ذا اكزيكيوشن الستاك ما غاديش يكون فيه اور لا ما غاديش يكونوا فيه لور اوف فيريبلز ولا الستاك ما غاديش يكونوا فيه لور اوف فيريبلز اند ذير ويل بي از ذا كود اكزيكيوتس ذا مور فيريبلز ار انسرتد انتو ذا ستاك اند ذا ستاك جروز اند ذاك الشيء بيناتهم از يا اي مين ذاك الشيء بيناتهم از غانا بي از غانا بي ديسايدد بيست اون ذا اكزيكيوشن Uh, whether it's going to be uh, 16 kilo, how is the difference in at home? It's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a decision in law, yes. And uh, this is a legitimate question, I mean, a very, very, uh, very, uh, very good question, because technically, this is not, this is not really what we do. We we allocate. Uh, it's not necessary that everything is going to be in the same block, because it's a waste of memory in between. So realistically, what we do is can the heap can be in another location, and it grows, and the stack can can also be in another location and it grows. And then... Yeah. Um... And that's so. I had that. So I kind of like have a different aspects. Like you can. تقدر تفكر فيها هكا إذا كنت أنت كتص إذا كنت إذا كنت أنت اللي كتدس يو كان لايك ذا شورت أنسر نتاعك أنت يو كان ديسايد وات ايفر يو ونت إذا كنت أنت كتكتب مثلا أنت هو اللي كتب جي سي كومبايلر يو كان ديسايد باللي يور ستاك ويت ستارت فروم ذا أدريس الأخرية أن الأخرية يو كان سيري تو 16 كي 2.216 كي إن ميموري ولا يو كان بوينت تو بوينت ات 4 جيجا بايت ولا يو كان سي ذات أوكي الأدريس سبيس ديالي فيها 16 جيجا بايت وانا غنبدا من الاخر وغنرجع ست... ار 16 كيلو بايت وهذاك هو الستاك ديالي يو هاف ذا كنترول از ذا بروجرامينغ لانجويج اونر ولا ذا شنو كومبيتيتي لك ات ذا بيس ليفل يو كان ديسايد شحال فين بغيتي ذاك الستاك يبدا وقداش بغيتي يكون ات ذا سيم تايم في حال دابا مشينا للبروجرام لك الاوبريتنج سيستمز في لينكس يو كان كنترول stack size um, and say i want the stack size to be as big as it can be infinitely i want the stack size to be as big as this and then if you and if your process like tries to use more stack size than it's allowed or it's controlled by the operating system it's gonna like crash and then it says really uh, stack overflow uh, you, over, you, you you use more stack than you than the um than the limit so the size in the stack itself like you can you can decide it from an operating system perspective well i can feel the layout into the memory layout is kind of like architecture slash programming language that dependent uh usually they would pick such a very high number his the free thing is not actually allocated there is no such thing you can marry and the contact attack because when my stack starts at address uh, and then my heap starts at, I don't know, 16. And this doesn't mean anything. And as long as I can talk at the end of the day, there an address translation, there is a bunch of other logic that will go in. And then if you already allocated that memory, you'd go through a different flow. If you don't have that memory, you'll go to another flow. ولكن واخا يكون بيناتهم مثلا 64 جيجا ما بين ادريس اللي كتسالي فين كتسالي الهيب على فين كيبدا الستاك ات دازنت مين ذات يو ار ريزيرف هين 64 جيجا من ذاك سبيس ويتش مينز يو كان ميك وات ايفر يو وونت سو بيبول جاست يوزلي ميك ات يو دي ميك ات لايك سمثين ذات فيتس انتو 32 بيتس ولا 64 بيتس ام نوت شور لايك اف يو اف يو رايت يور اون اوبريتنج سيستم يو كان ميك ذيس ديسيجن ات دازنت هاف ا لوت اوف امباكت لا شنو Uh, allow what to like what can but um i hope this makes it more clear uh i guess again another question uh, translation عندنا واحد البروسيس دي سي دي سي بي او انه اكزيكيوتي وداك البروسيس فيه واحد الفاريابل مثلا خصو يعني واحد الانبوس دونك سي بي او ديريكتومون كي كيشوف يعني كي كومونيكي مع الفيرتيوال ميموري اللي فيها اللوجيكال ادريس دونك ملي كي كومونيكي مثلا بغا داك الفاريابل عنده واحد اللوجيكال ادريس ديريكتومون 
يعني كي كيعطي تعطي الاوردر للريال ريلوكيشن ريجستر باش يجيب ليه الفيزيكال ادريس من من الميموري فيزيكال ميموري مثلا لا رام اونس دابا اوكي عاد وبالنسبه للشيء اللي 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 شرحنا هذه بالنسبه دابا مثلا حنا ما ما كنديستيديوش يعني اش من ادريس اكزاكتومون خصنا نعطيو لذاك الفاريابل ديريكتومون مثلا ملي كنكتبو لونغاج مثلا واحد البروغرام بشي لونغاج كنديستينيو غير فاريابل ديريكتومون كتعطى لي اليطوارمون واحد الادريس فيزيكال ادريس اللي عاوتاني كتولي لوجيكال ادريس من بعد باش تستوكا في الفيرتيال الفيرتيال ميموري وهذا الفيرتيال ميموري كاينه في السي بي باش ما يكونوش لي زوبيراسيون زعما ما عرفتش واش اش اللي قلت سو ما نقدر نعاود اي ثينك اي ثينك تو تو ميك ثينكس كلير سو 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 سي بي يو اكزيكيوت هنايا في هذا في هذا الشيء سي بي يو غير اكزيكيوت سو سي بي يو كي سي بي يو ترايز تو اكزيكيوت واحد الانستراكشن هذه الانستراكشن فيها لود واحد لا فاريابل كاينه في ادريس اكس مثلا هذيك لادريس ذا 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 انستراكشنز اللي كاينين on a process level they refer to a logical address had had logical address needs to be translated at logical address ma kaynash fil memory ma kaynash fil ram so ahna we're trying to access wahed variable fil ram wa baghina l'adress dialha had logical address is a way bash na'taw the process access the some parts of the memory while at the same time nhatou wahed translation layer binou bin the memory دونك ما كنعطيوش الادريسز ديال بصح كنعطيو ادريسز ديالو ترانسليت تو ذا فيزيكال ادريسز اللي كاينين في الرام سو so, فاش هذاك البروسيس اذا اكزيكيوتين و ذا سي بي يو تراين تو لود واحد الادريس اللي هي لوجيكال لوجيكال وي مين هنا فيرتوال فيرتوال ادريس مثلا 6000 ما كاين ات شود بي اي مين ذا There is a piece of hardware for had a simple address translation, meta memory management unit. That can take the digital virtual address. Can go okay. Process X refers to uh, address self. So address self for process X is had other location for 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 physical RAM, and then can tra- the, the address translates to had digital. It's it's relocated. to the real address اللي هي physical address for RAM and then the variable is loaded من 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 RAM so this is هذه هي translation step that we're talking about هنا so the logical address there that doesn't exist it's just a way for process for for every process باش يريفير تو شي واحد لا بارتي ديال الميموري that that uh, that the process is allowed to access ما uh, عرفتش it makes it clear هذا <تصفيق> وواحد الليميت ذات ذات يت كانت اكسس وهذيك هي اكس ان واي الباونس ديالو اند يت كانت جو قل من الاوفسيت اند يت كانت جو بيوند الليميت اند اي ثينك ذات 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 اي مين ان ذيس كيس وات مهدي توكت اباوت اي مين از از ذا ريل از ذا ريل كيس سيناريو ديال ديال هاو ميموريز الوكيتد For processes, but for the sake of explaining the address, the basic address translation um, example, uh, we assume that this is free space. It is allocated to the process. So, process in this case, and do 16k camera, or including this free space that it can allocate to either the heap or the, the heap grows from the top or the stack grows from the top in a in a reverse uh, way. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, any more questions for the address message? I think we can we can move to uh, free memory management. So uh, memory 
physical memory is not is not unlimited, unfortunately. So uh, we need to have a way to uh, manage memory for every process. Uh, uh, can you use that uh, like a dot pointer like you can for Google Slides? Ah, yeah. Might help me double check if it's concrete or has pointed point it should have. Just click L while you're looking to there. Um, as well. Uh, ah, yes. Yeah. Thanks. Ah, okay, very useful. Okay. Um, so um, uh, for free memory management. Um, the, 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 as I said, the, the RAM uh, machine, machine, uh, machine unlimited. There is a very limited space that we should uh, allocate uh, wisely and efficiently, efficiently for multiple processes. So um, now, in this case, and then there is a there is a wide challenge that uh, that we are facing. Uh, that that uh, memory management. Um, is facing in case kula, we assign kula process like dynamically we process uh, we, we we allocate uh, different process different sizes for different processes so uh, for example we allocated uh, head base and offset uh, from I mean, zero to 400 is restricted to os is allocated to os 400 to 900 a 900 and and, and so on like then do a dynamic or uh, a variable um, memory uh, uh, allocated. Now, in this case, uh, we we have what we call uh, fragmentation. Fragmentation is when uh, um, a lot of free space keep between the, the 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 allocated space. So there is portions of free space, li in between portions of space li huma allocated. In this case, b uh, and do nine hundred. Uh, uh, 900 uh, size the elephant memory when we when it terminates key will leave haraka and then when we want to assign the you know we chose to assign it here because of course uh, these take in more space than 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 in this slot and i know so we have to assign it and so and then it is a challenge when the the this memory space becomes too split to uh, accommodate for one process that needs a lot of contiguous memory. So when we start to face challenges when trying to assign memory that technique. So one of the challenges we call uh, fragmentation is when uh, the free space make it uh, big enough for 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 uh, um, for for, uh, for uh, uh, to be allocated to allocate and uh, um, one way to solve this is called compaction. So compaction is uh, to try to defragment space leak into memory by uh, moving uh, the, the, ex the processes around. So we uh, can to processes and uh, we try to compact them. But then if, if, a pro if, uh, if a process needs more memory, then this becomes uh, also bad because uh, a lot of space species extend for, for processes. So uh, for fragmentation, I mean, there, as, as we said, uh, we allocate, uh, as, uh, as we, uh, we said, a lot, a lot of fragmentation, we, uh, this is what we call, uh, by the way, external fragmentation. There is another way it's called internal fragmentation is when uh, we we give to a process metal a lot of space and it doesn't use all of it. Like in we give it 16k and it only uses 2k. This is what we call internal fragmentation. A lot of wasted space allocated but not used. External fragmentation here when there is a lot of space, there is a lot of portions li huma the space they split into fragments and makdroshan allocate you from a big portion of in contiguous uh, um, memory. Uh, I mean, the block becomes uh, too small to to assign uh, in this case. Uh, so in this case, uh, E uh, needs six hundred. Not six hundred. Six in six hundred. I mean, location size deal uh, deal uh, space. So now we need to 
uh, find an alternative to to it by moving other blocks around. Um, uh, I think we do, we don't have to go into the details here of the fragmentation, but there I want you to understand that there is a problem here. Who had who had fragmentation? So uh, to solve this problem, there is a technique we call paging. So instead of having had variable memory for uh, for uh, for processes, we'll have to variable memory blocks in in memory. Why not have uh, why not split memory into uh, fixed size pages and start allocating page by page? So uh, um, this is this this simplifies a lot of the problem trying to fit the process into a portion of the memory. Okay, the problem because we have we know exactly the size of the pages, and uh, the the whole memory uh, uh, will be split into fixed size pages. Don't can know how many. There are. So, uh, is there a specific piece of hardware that does uh, the compacting? Um, so um, compacting is uh, is actually done by the uh, the operating system. So it's the it's. I'm oui. just want to intervene here. Um, I don't think the question is given of uh, messages. So I don't think given of recording. So ila just repeat it. So, the part of recording, I have to look and see. Okay. So, yeah. So, the question is: uh, Is there a specific piece of hardware that does the compacting, or is it a simple translation operation? So, it's um, um so compacting is a, uh, uh, as far as I understand, is a is a, um, an operating system uh, uh, thing. So, um, the 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 processes are moved from one block to another block. So they they. They are, up, I mean, the 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 translation DLM is updated accordingly, but the block is moved from A to B, and um, the it's the operating it's a, it's a purely uh, uh, operating system operation. Um, yeah. So I hope that I hope that answers the question. So yeah, I mean, if we go back to uh, page paging, um, and that paging makes the this problem. Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's it solves greatly the uh, external fragmentation because we are now we now have uh, uh, fixed size pages for for every for every single uh, um, yeah every single memory page can alpha size the other so we can allocate it uh, we can allocate it accordingly. Uh, but it, do, it doesn't in, it doesn't uh, eliminate internal fragmentation because we are still allocating. At least, more but then what if a process needs half a page? We still have to allocate one page. So we're gonna see. So in this case, um, uh, uh, process A and do six pages, six pages, six uh, uh, A zero, A one, A two, A three, A four, A five. Those are uh, virtual memory uh, locations. We have virtual page numbers. In this case, we refer to them as page numbers. So every virtual page number translates into a physical frame number. Frame number is the physical the the the, the page in physical memory. The virtual uh, side of it here, a virtual page number. So every virtual page number refers to one uh, uh, physical frame number. And now uh, a zero metalan translates into f two. Uh, frame frame number two leave he had the the, the content li, li, um, memory a, in in uh, in memory uh, a zero dl dl process a and you can see now and the a zero a one a two have to be in uh, for allocation a zero is in f two a one is in f six so we we don't have that problem dl uh, even if the locations are in on a logical well, on, in, a, in, a, in a virtual uh, uh, addresses, ma, ma, it's not the same case for, for physical. Uh, okay. So the operating system keeps track of the mapping between the, the virtual and the, and the frame numbers, virtual uh, page numbers and uh, frame numbers. Um, okay. 
So now there is a there is an example. The uh, looking up one the virtual address. So we have what we call a page table. We have a page table for every process. And had a page table. They had the the translation maybe in the virtual address or physical address. Virtual page number or the frame number. Page number is P in that case. Or F or or frame number. So. Um, uh, you can see uh, what F5 and F7 for the case are uh, three pages. They can be free, they can be allocated to another process. What we know now is they are not allocated to process A. And this is what process A sees. Uh, actually, process A only sees Hadoop virtual in A0 or A5. In, in memory, it can free, it can allocated to another process. But uh, yeah, let's consider they are free. You uh, can a you can uh, process a both the liquid and the memory now. Um, so yeah, uh, paging. Here is an example. The uh, we looking up the the enough location p as you can see the index the had the f the the f is uh, p the uh, page table. We uh, look it up by uh, by. Uh, uh, by index, and then we translate the page uh, number into uh, frame number. I can to to explain this even better. Um, the virtual address has what had number of leading uh, digits that represent the page number, because the page table is a power of two, or because the representation is a power of two. There, there is no need for translation. And the leading digits of the virtual page number to translate the page table into frame table and then to access the the the, the corresponding uh, memory location using the physical address after the translation. Uh, okay, so in reality, this is how things look in multiple processes. Uh, so process X, for example, and process Y are executing. كل واحد فيهم عنده page table, and they are, um, re I mean, referencing or translating into uh, um, uh, page. I mean, into into frame numbers. Li uh, gaining or in in in. I mean, as locations in memory. Uh, if you can notice, and you know, a very interesting thing is that both process X and process Y are using page frame number four. So, uh, in some cases, to optimize uh, memory usage, two processes can use the same frame number if they're referring to the same process, uh, to, to the same, uh, uh, I mean, to the same uh, uh, page for some reason. So if they have a shared resource, they can both uh, two virtu different virtual addresses can refer to the same um, uh, physical physical address or uh, pay, physical page number or frame number in this case. So uh, because the, the this translation needs to be very efficient, uh, we have what we call a translation lookaside buffer (TLB), which is a hardware. Uh, cache for uh, page tables. So TLB is a is a hardware uh, side leaky that has translation. And here we can talk about TLB hit and TLB miss. TLB hit is when uh, can how long we we're trying to uh, make a vir I mean translate a virtual address into a physical address, and we find out that it exists in Hadle cache. We call now TLB. This is what we call TLB hit. Is the translation is successful? And then there is no need to a page table because the lookup operation is pretty expensive when we think about it. Every time we want to access a memory location, we have to look it up in memory. And to make that to make that efficient, we have a mapping cache leaky their mapping between the the, the physical the, the page number and frame number. If had memory location we're trying to uh, to access, well, the virtual uh, page number is inexistent for the TLB, we call it a TLB miss. And had TLB, the, of course, is limited because it's a cache. 
So we need to uh, find a way to um, have a when a new uh, when a new uh, uh, location is accessed, and we're trying to add it to the TLB. There is a replacement policy that's that's uh, that's that's there to to try to manage that uh, cache efficiently. So, uh, for example, can what we call least re recently used. So, can uh, do the memory locations that came in TLB or the translations that came in TLB uh, based on the uh, the ones that have not been accessed recently, and uh, how can we replace it with the new one that we access to Malkinas TLB for for future use? We're trying to to uh, to optimize that that buffer. Uh, I know I'm going a bit too fast, so uh, yeah. If uh, there are any questions, which is not clear, please uh, let me. Okay. in terms of and that's it. All right. All right. So yeah, it will be uh, it will be quite fast. So uh, TLB hit and miss. Uh, very uh, simple example. The uh, same, and then it's logical address list not available with the page virtual page number. We're trying to translate it into a frame number. Now uh, we are had had la partie de had la partie de kien hanadi el de el the page table. We shna had eja. So before this, can show for TLB. We la kien have TLB. We don't have to look it up in the page table. We take it directly in here, and then the TLB hit, and it translates directly. And if we don't, the TLB miss, we um, access it in the page table, and that's it. Uh, just uh, in case you wonder, if, uh, in the context of uh, in the in the context switching context, the process control block literally last time should contain uh, or can contain the TLB. Uh, uh, locations li accessed for every process. So, uh, yeah, I mean that's that's also a, an information that you can you can uh, yeah you can add to the PCB, which uh, uh, very efficient in terms of uh, context switching. Uh, yeah. So, sadly, the physical memory is limited. So, and you also saw the uh, example is that uh, virtual memory can be bigger than physical memory. So, what do we do for Shikuno and locations Camlian? And not enough memory to, um, to keep them all. We have what we call uh, swapping. So, swapping is taking some of those virtual uh, page frame contents and uh, putting them in disk instead to free up uh, physical memory. And we call this swap in. Metal uh, here in uh, process A, where metal in process A is not used, it's not uh, uh, running, it's metal uh, and blocked. OS decides to swap it out. Swap in out is, is uh, the action of taking a process um, uh, page frame contents to disk. And swapping in is uh, taking uh, cont I mean, uh, frame, frame contents back from, uh, from the swap disk. Uh, from the swap space in the disk to to uh, to the to the yeah to the physical memory. Um, for had uh, page table, the page table we have what we call a present bit. The present bit kigulina was had memory location that we're trying to that the frame number we're trying to access is actually present in memory. It was swapped out because we needed memory. So that's also something we we uh, look for. So the the present bit is Katana uh, information about the the memory location that we're trying to access. Which it's actually loaded in the memory. Well, it's in disk, and it needs to be loaded before it's accessed. And uh, this is what we call the present bit in the page table. We'll have in the TLB. Uh, we have what we call page faults. So, um, uh, to sum up what we have seen so far, we're trying to access memory location 
uh, one, two, three, four, five, six in this example. Can access OTLB. In case of a TLB hit contribution in main memory, we have the physical frame number, we access what we want. Um, if in case of a TLB miss, which is an arrow that's going here, we can show, can show for the page table. The page table um, gives us uh, the information, the uh, page number, two frame number translation that we're trying to do. If we find it in the page table, uh, it translates, we call it a page hit, our, and then we go to main memory, you can, uh, we reach out, the, we, we reach the same, the same step again. In case Malkaina should page table for some reason, we call it a page fault. We'll let, in case we find out that it's not present in main memory, we call it a page fault. Uh, uh, yeah, so a page fault is when the memory, uh, the, the virtual page number translation to physical or to frame number, tell, I mean, the present bit is false. It's not present in memory. This is what we call a page fault. So after a page fault, what, what we do is we take a page from a swap space, we swap it in. So we update the page table, this is present, update the main memory, and then the, the uh, the, the access had memory location. In case we're trying to access Shihajali Makainaj, of course it's a segmentation fault. And uh, it's not found in the page table. Uh, what element is responsible for doing the swapping? Um, uh, what do you mean by element? Um, is it the component for operating system or not? Yes, any uh, the swapping, uh, who is responsible for taking this process from memory if it's not active, for example, and putting it in the disk and uh, the opposite? Uh, it's, op it's, the, it's the operating system. So there is a, the, it's the, the operating system is taking care of uh, swapping. So uh, th there are a lot of mechanisms for swapping. And uh, yeah, I mean, this, this is a, I mean, we're gonna see, there are a lot of policies that the operating system implements and uh, also uh, using some algorithms to to uh, decide what to swap in, what to swap out, for example. But this is something that the operating system is taking care of. Nizar is saying, uh, do we use, do we really have a single page table? Um, actually, in reality, we have multiple level page tables. We have levels of page tables because uh, we need a lot of uh, pages and we are trying to um, uh, we're trying to access a lot of we're trying to index a lot of locations so, so we are we are splitting the pages into uh, levels can uh, um, can you, I think uh, in Linux there are three levels yeah I think three levels so uh, the pages not only there are multiple ones but there are multiple levels DL pages and uh, each level takes you to a specific page uh, parts. So it's it's indexed more efficiently. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, the math is a bit more complex. But yeah, I mean, just uh, just uh, it's just a matter of uh, uh, optimizing the indexing for, uh, for to, to retrieve Hadoop locations more efficiently. Uh, any questions? Uh, Summary, more or less, deal what we saw so far. Okay. So, uh, swapping policies. Can um, the algorithms? I mean, I, I, I think I will not uh, dive into the details of the algorithms because uh, yeah. uh, is the pagination going to solve the fragmentation problems? Our computers will. Yeah. Yeah, so the pagination is uh, to solve um, the, pagin the main problem. Lee, it, it was uh, it was the the paging was trying to solve is had the, the external fragmentation is the fact that uh, dynamic uh, pages uh, the dynamic uh, memory allocation for uh, for multiple processes has has a lot of problems. Separate, uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'll take just a minute to talk about algorithms and the uh, metrics and also eviction costs. Uh, 
And also talk about dirty pages because it's an interesting thing. And then I think that would be it. So um, yeah, I mean, algorithms, there are a lot of algorithms to, to that implement head swapping because there is a decision making what to, what to uh, swap out and what to swap in. So now algorithms are first in, first out. You can understand like what, what, what it means. Random replacement, taking a random, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, trying to replace, uh, I mean, trying to swap random locations can be efficient in some cases. It's also least recently used, uh, which is, I mean, an interesting algorithm that you can, I mean, I will share the resources to have a look at. But yeah, I mean, those those policies are, uh, um, those, those are the main uh, policies that are implemented to have an efficient swap. And uh, having an inefficient swap is uh, is going to result in a, in a very slow memory or very inefficient memory uh, virtualization allocation in this case. Uh, there are metrics to compute the efficiency of those algorithms uh, called the hit, hit rate, how many hits per total uh, queries. And uh, yeah, there are also eviction costs. There are costs for swapping in and out of memory. And here I wanna talk about uh, clean pages and dirty pages. So um, um, a page is flagged dirty when it has been modified. So uh, if a page is modified, we have to make sure to save it somewhere in the disk if we're trying to swap Shihaja in in its same location. Otherwise the content will be lost. So. The eviction cost is uh, cheaper for pages that have not been modified because we know that if we know their address in uh, disk, we can load them again. But for dirty pages, we have to save header contents in the, the disk before swapping uh, another, before using header memory for, for, for another page. And um, yeah, I think those, this, uh, this, this is what I wanted to talk about. I mean, there, there are uh, algorithms, uh, optimal replacement algorithm, first in, first out, random, re least recently used. And uh, yeah, I think those you can have a look at. Uh, it's good to understand how, how had the, the process are implemented or how those algorithms are implemented. So a uh, very quick uh, recap for with the process states. So Shukuna had the process states uh, cropped before we talked about swapping. So the process states leaking in Daba are this. Um, when, when we talk about, uh, I mean, the complete picture deal, deal process states. So we have, in addition to the process, the, the states we talked about, we have now swapped out and waiting and swapped out and blocked. So if the process state is waiting or blocked, we can have an additional state that, uh, that says the really process has been taken completely out of memory into swap uh, to free some memory for other execution processes. So uh, to, this, is, uh, this is a summary of uh, what we talked about CPU virtualization. Uh, I think we talked about uh, Time sharing, context switching, scheduling mechanisms and policies, and uh, uh, yeah, memory virtualization. Uh, we talked about uh, the most important parts: address space, paging, page tables, TLB, swapping mechanisms. What is swapping? How useful is swapping? How do we make the decisions to swap or not? And uh, policies you can have a look at. It's there. They are uh, simple algorithms to to try to. Uh, to uh, decide uh, uh, pages to swap out and uh, which pages to swap in. And I think that's uh, that's it. And do, do, you have a, do you have any questions? Yes. Right. Um, thank you, Abdul uh, I guess I'll stop recording, Susan. I can't see any questions. Um, 
Uh,